Brayhead Clan 7, 5 Flyers 4 was the final score tonight. Part 1 of the double header is out of the way. With me is the Clan coach, Ryan Finnerty. Ryan, good birthday present for you. Yeah, it didn't, uh, didn't start out great, but we uh, clawed our way back in, and then we I thought we got stronger as the game went on. Uh, you know, the difference was our power play connecting. We haven't... Uh, we struggled on our on our power play last five games, so it was nice to, to get that off the ground and we, a couple goals that got us back into it. Fife are a difficult team to, to face. You know that only too well, not only from your time here but at Sheffield as well. When they go two 0 up like that, how do you how do you get that back? How do you get to channel the momentum into into um, pulling goals back? I well, think you just got to keep your composure and. Uh, you know, you can't obviously panic. You got to you got to stick with your system and, and claw your way back. You know, the, the thing is, they go up two nothing pretty early. We got a lot of time to claw our way back, and I felt we were pretty professional about it. We you know we we didn't drop our heads. We we got back to work. That that first goal is a big goal for us. You know, the the Esther's goal giving us a little life going into the second, and then, like I said, our power play clawed us back and into the game. And you know, I thought we I felt we were in pretty good control after that, but you got to give them a lot of credit. I thought they, they came back hard. You know, even at six three, the mm. game was wasn't over. They make it six four and they get a few chances. So, yeah, they uh, they continue to work. So you know, that, that's that's a good hockey club over there. And uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, it's nice to get a few goals. We've been struggling to score some goals, but um, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a sixty minute game like we wanted, but probably an exciting one for the fans. You mentioned the fact that it went to 6-4 at one point, given where the game was at that point in the third period. It could have went either way, couldn't it? Fife get another goal, momentum changes, Brayhead get another goal, it kills it off. Yeah, obviously penalties were a factor in the in the last 10. You know, we we take a commanding lead and then, uh, you know, we, as it so, so happens quite a bit, mm. uh, the penalties start flowing when, when we stretch the lead a little bit. But, yeah, they, they score five on three goal and, and puts, it gives them a bit of life and, you know, a two-goal lead is, is is tough to defend, and it, it can change very quickly. And like I said, Fife, Fife are, are very offensive, and you gotta you gotta be able to to contain them and keep them to the outside. I thought they they looked dangerous going forward all night tonight. So, you know, I thought uh, yeah, you know, on the whole, I thought we, we got better as the game went on, but we definitely need to to work on on especially in our building our starts. Joe Cullen, two goals for him tonight. He's, he's a D man. Where did you get him from? Yeah, he's he's been playing well. He's fitted in well. You know, he's he's a quality person. He's a good guy. Uh, he's great. You can, he's got leadership all over him. So uh, he, he's 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 fitted in well. He's he's adapted to our systems extremely quickly. Um, you know, and, and we, he's he's an all-around guy. He's, he's very good on the face-off circle too. So uh, yeah, he, he's been he's been great, and he's just settling in. So you know, I think uh, he's a great great addition to our lineup, and it gives us another uh, another good good player at center. Did you miss having Kevin Bergen alongside you tonight on the bench, playing his first game for a few weeks? How was he afterwards? Yeah, like I said, <laughs> he's been off for a while, so we we uh, we we kept his minutes down. You know, we we got him out there and got him a feel on the penalty kill a bit and put him on the power play and that. But we didn't want to. I wanted to keep his minutes down tonight and let him kind of slowly get back into it. And you know, given a give, probably take him a few games to get back up to, to speed. And that's what happens when you when you lapse for a while and you, you're out you're out for three or four weeks. But you know, I thought he looked good. You know, he, he made a big play on the uh, I think it was the uh, McGrain goal the, mm -hmm. the back door and. You know he, he's so good down low, and he's so strong down low, and he can he can make plays out of the corner when in when in uh, one on you know 50-50 battles, and, and that's where that's where he excels. And you know I thought he, he fit good on that line, but you know overall we uh, we played we played obviously good enough to win, but I thought there there's definitely another level, and and I think our, our urgency off the off the start is is a big question mark right now that we need to fix. Other result tonight saw Sheffield winning 4 1 at home to Dundee tonight. You're still very much in their coattails, but a, a boost the fact that Dundee lost? Yeah, obviously, we got to close in on, on Dundee, and we you know, we stay right with level points with Sheffield with games in hand. So, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's still uh, still a wide open league, and you know, I don't think we're going to see who who's who here until after the new year. It, it looks pretty pretty tight, especially in our division, you know, with, and throughout the whole league, there's so much parity that you, you can't, you can't equate for who's going to win or not. So it's good to see, but um, yeah, you know, like I said, we, we, right now you just focus on your game because, uh, you know, there's nothing we're going to win in, in uh, November, December. Thanks very much, Ryan. Thank you.